A popular theory of motor control that relates to some movements is that of an open loop system. And, and in this open loop theory, you would have a, a movement which is well learned and rehearsed and, and fairly stable and often called a motor program. And the, the distinction with, um, with a, an open loop system is that once the movement has been initiated, there's no adjusting, it just kind of fires through. So that, that would fit conceptually to um, a boxing punch or something ballistic like that. And thinking about it, it also fits how I was taught to teach many, many years ago, where the instructor would say something like, well, if the, if the golfer is closed at the top of the backswing, so a, you know, a, a bowed wrist, then the ball's gonna go left. But even back then I would think, well, it doesn't always go left, does it? And we know that players can react in their downswing and deliver the club face or the, the club path differently. So uh, a more fitting model for the golf swing would be that of a closed system, whereby we can initiate the movement, we are sensing what's happening in the movement, and particular, it's, or in particular for the golf swing, the club face, and we can then react on that, constantly taping, taking feedback. And this is most evident when we see good players having a, an uncharacteristic follow-through, where they're clearly reacting to where they thought the club was in space coming into the ball. The most common and fitting of these closed loop um, theories for golf is that of a dynamical system.